Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this mini lunchbox for your stuffed animal. It really opens and you can design it however you want. Now let's get started! I'm going to be making my mini box from scratch, so I had to make a template for this. I'll link a printable version in the description box. And I originally wanted to make this out of clear plastic, so that's what I have here. But spoiler alert, this plastic version did not turn out well, so I had to switch to cardboard. I'm going to show the process with the plastic though, since it's the same steps. But you can make this out of plastic, cardboard, or even cardstock. So the first thing I need to do is trace my template and cut it out. I'm using a dry erase marker for this, since it'll easily wipe off the plastic. And for this template, you'll basically want to trace or cut on the solid lines, and then fold on the dashed lines. There's some solid lines going into the paper, so I just already made those cuts and then folded over the flaps to trace them. Then I can just cut this out. I had some extra lines drawn in here, but just make sure to follow the pattern. I also forgot to mention, if you already have a small box you want to use for this, it is much easier to just use that than making a box from scratch, because making a box from scratch is surprisingly difficult. Okay, so after I've cleaned off all the marker, now I can start folding this up. I'm going to start folding following the dashed lines on the pattern, so you can always refer to that, but the way things are cut, it's pretty obvious where to fold, so I'm just doing that. And I had to add a cutting mat under this to give me more of a solid surface, because folding this plastic was pretty tough. And plastic can be pretty sharp, so be careful of that, but you'll see later that I wouldn't recommend doing this in plastic. Here, I'm trying to show you the best that I can the kind of shape I have going after folding everything. Nothing's stuck together yet, though. Next, to glue together all the tabs, I'm going to be using hot glue. If you're using hot glue, please be really careful. Especially with plastic, there is almost no barrier between your fingers and the glue, so it is really hot. But if you're making this out of cardboard or cardstock, you could even just use liquid glue for this. You might just need some tape to hold it together while it dries. I started with the back tabs at the bottom, and since I couldn't use my fingers to hold this together, I just used scissors to kind of press it in place. And as you're doing this, try to make sure the sides of the box are perfectly straight, that way the lid will be able to fit right. So here I am doing the front tabs now, and this is a little tricky because you kind of have to do both at one time, but luckily I was able to kind of maneuver it in place while the glue was drying. I then repeated the same thing for the lid, and here is what it looked like in the end. I know it looks like a perfectly good box, but when I tried to close the lid, it just would not fit at all, and I was going to add a latch anyway, but it's just the shape that was off. So I had to remake this using cardboard after adjusting my pattern. And here's a good technique for making the folds. I just grabbed a ruler and bent the cardboard around it. It is really important to make the cuts and folds carefully though, because really tiny differences will cause the box not to fit together too well. But luckily in the moment, there's a lot of little adjustments you could do to make it fit right. Also, I'm using a pretty thin corrugated cardboard for this. But I think a cereal box would have been better for this though, because it's thinner and doesn't have those corrugated edges. But mine still turned out fine in the end. Okay, so here it is all glued together, and it kind of looks like a moving box or something with the white outside and brown inside. But now we just have a basic box, so we still need to turn this into a lunch box. I was looking up different lunch boxes for inspiration, and found a picture of this metal pusheen lunch box, which was the exact kind I was going for. And since I feel like this goes with stuffed animal theme, I'm going to recreate this design. So I'm first starting out with a blue base coat on the front and back, then I'm doing a bright pink all along the sides. And since these kind of lunch boxes have rounded corners, I wanted to kind of create that illusion with paint, so for the back I'm just going to curve the corners. I didn't end up doing this on the front, so maybe it didn't really do anything, but that's what I did in the moment. And now I can start painting on the Pusheen. I just made a basic sketch of her off camera, and you'll want to make sure your picture is oriented in a way where the lunchbox opens on top, because that's where we're going to put the handle, so it's going to be that side up. So now I'm just filling her in with light gray paint. One thing I didn't realize while filming this was that the camera would be out of focus a lot of the time because my hand's really close to it, but I'll just try to show the clearest shots. After this dries, I'm just going to be adding more of the details and sketching them out. And I'm trying to follow the picture exactly, so she's drinking a soda, has a burger and fries. So I'm going to try to paint that exactly. Luckily, I don't have to be super neat with it, because in the picture, there is a pretty thick black line outlining everything. So I can always use that to help fix the tiny details. Now 
I'm just going to outline everything and draw on the face with the black marker. Okay, so here it is finished. I know it's missing the sesame seeds on the bun, but I added that later. But now I'm going to add a border to this with a marker of basically the same color. So this is going to be really subtle, but I'm just going to try to round out those corners with this border. In the end, you can't really see it at all, but you know, it's worth a shot. Now, since I want to make this look like a metal lunchbox, I'm going to give it a glossy finish with some Mod Podge. It didn't get it as shiny as I wanted it to, but you can't really expect painted cardboard to end up looking like metal. After I've covered the entire thing and let it dry, I'm going to add the latch so the lid stays closed. I'm going to make mine out of some stretchy string, but you can use any kind of string. And I'm cutting a pretty small piece and folding it in half. And now to attach this to the lid, instead of using glue, I just used tape since I was going to eventually cover the inside. But I later ended up having to use glue anyway because the tape wasn't strong enough. So I'm just taping that to the inside of the lid as close to the middle as possible. Now that I have my loop, I'm just going to pull it down and check where I'm going to add my bead. And I'm adding a mark to get that perfect spot. And now I can just glue that on with hot glue. I'm using a pretty big bead, but you can use whatever you want, or really anything that the string will latch onto. You could even just do like a mound of glue or something. Now I can test out closing this, and it worked great. Next, I'm going to add the handle, and I'm going to be using elastic instead of cardboard, which was my original idea because I wanted to make sure it would be able to fit over the hands of different stuffed animals, but you can always use cardboard or whatever material you used for your box. I just glued both ends on with hot glue, and now the handle's done. I like that even with the elastic, it's able to stand up and look like a handle. But after all this, I still have the problem of the exposed cardboard inside. An easy solution to this would just be painting the inside silver to get that tin lunchbox look, but I don't actually have silver paint and didn't want to just do gray, so instead I'm going to cover the inside with aluminum foil. I got a fresh piece so it wouldn't be so wrinkled, and now I'm using my pattern to cut out a piece for the bottom. And I forgot to mention I made a few adjustments for this pattern, so if the printable version looks different, don't worry, it's just a better version of mine. Now I'm just coating the inside with some clear glue and pressing the foil into the bottom but I'm first making those folds to try to get it as smooth as possible. But that didn't end up doing much because I ended up just having to squeeze it all in there, but I just tried to cover it as neatly as possible. After covering the lid as well, mine looked like this, and I tried to cover up those corrugated edges by folding over the tinfoil a little more, but I actually wish I would have left extra so the tinfoil would peek out over the sides. But I still think it turned out really great. It's definitely handmade looking, but I hope the design's cuteness makes up for it. Now you can pack your stuffed animals lunch inside. I grabbed some of my felt foods from a previous video, but they are pretty big, so really only one can fit in at a time. You could always make smaller food though, so you could pack a full lunch. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment any video suggestions you have, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye! I got a fresh, oh. <clears throat>